All right, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're going to be uh, installing something on our computer called PPSSPP, which is a PSP emulator. And the goal of today is to get us online playing SOCOM Fireteam Bravo 2 or Bravo Team, uh, Fireteam Bravo 1 or 3 <coughs> against people because, let's face it, they're probably the best PSP games out there. So um, download the file that's in the description. And once you have that downloaded, which I have already done, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and navigate to wherever you save that file to and open it up. Um, I'm going to show you how to host games and how to join games that others are hosting. <coughs> Excuse me. So go ahead and open up that file you downloaded. And then we're going to, I'm going to just change this to my desktop to make it easier for us. Uh, this will only allow for five people to play together at once, but if there's enough interest here, I will actually pay to uh, start a server that can feature up to 260 people. So when you open this up, you're going to want to go into the PPSS, uh, take the PPSSPP archive and extract that into this same directory. So I'm going to extract these files here. OK, and that will leave you with a PPSSPP folder. Open that up, run either the 64 one for 64-bit versions of Windows or the one with no numbers after it if you are on a 32-bit install of Windows. Once you verify that it starts up and it runs, you can go ahead and close it down because um, we don't really need it right now. All right, so next, you're going to want to go back to that folder and you're going to want to open up the Hamachi server program and install that. This is going to allow you to get online to a Hamachi server and then play against other people uh, online. So you're going to want to just install that with its default settings. It's going to ask you for admin per, uh, privileges. Just go ahead and install it right where it wants to be installed. And then we can move on to the next step. Uh, also included in the file in the description is something called FUSA Gamepad, which will allow you to use your PSP as a controller. I'm actually using the Xbox 360 controller, but I'll show you how to install this in case you want to. Right click on the FUSA Gamepad, extract here, then open up this PSP folder in the game folder, and then right click and copy FUSA Gamepad. Now go back to the original folder, open up PPSSPP, open up Memstick, then PSP, then we want to create a new folder name it GAME, all capitals, and then paste that right in there. And then if you open up PPSSPP, you will actually see that under the uh, Games and Homebrew section uh, within the program. So once it opens up, you click on Homebrews and Demos, and there it is, FUSA Gamepad. So for people that want to use it, it's there. I'm not going to be using it in this tutorial, but I figured I'd include that anyway. Alright, so once Hamachi is installed, go ahead and open it up. Press this power button to start it running. I've already created an account, so it will log me in to the Hamachi server. If you haven't created an account, it's going to tell you now here to log in. Go ahead and click where it says create an account. You just have to enter an email address and all that and then verify your email. What I'm going to do, and what me and NATO have decided on, is we're going to start our own server. The server right now is free and it only allows five people at a time but the server is going to be called SOCOM FTB2. So anybody that wants to play FTB2 with us can join that server. The password is SOCOM FTB2, all lowercase, no spaces. The details will be down in the description so that you guys can join this server and play with us. Now, when you go into the server and you join this server and you connect to it, you'll see the list of the players who are playing in the server. To do that, you go to New Connection, you put the information I just told you in. Now, whenever somebody is hosting a game, we're going to have them have host in their name so you know who to connect to to join said games. If somebody doesn't have host in their name, it just means that they're playing as a just a, a player in the game and not hosting the game. So there's a couple other things you have to do if you want to host a game and if you want to join a game. 
So whoever has host in their name is going to be hosting whatever game is going on at that point in time. Now I'll show you how to join a game that's being hosted and how to host a game yourself. Alright, so now if you're connected to our server and you see somebody with a host in their name, you need to set up PAPSSPP to connect to them. Right click their name and then go down here where it says copy IPv4 address. Now you're going to want to go ahead and open up PPSSPP so we can set the networking location to connect to ad hoc games to that IP address. So go ahead and open up uh, PPSSPP. Now once it loads up, you're going to want to go into the settings and then select networking. Now first and foremost, make sure that enable built-in pro ad hoc server is disabled, no check mark. Then change pro ad hoc server IP address, get rid of whatever's there, press control V to put in the host IP, hit OK, then hit back. Now whenever you join uh, an ad hoc game, it will connect to whoever has the host in their name and it will allow everybody to join the same game and play together. This should work with any game that has ad hoc. So as long as you set it up exactly this way, then you can do it. Now that will allow you to join those games when you start up FTB2 or any other game. Now let me show you how to host a game. Alright, so now you know how to join a game, let's show you how to host a game. Open up the Hamachi window, go into settings, preferences, and then you want to click on the blue link next to your name that says change. Click on that, and then put the word host somewhere in your name. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, but something like this would be good so the rest of the people in the game know who's hosting and who's playing. Type in host, then click change, click OK. And then you'll notice up here, my name now has host after it. So now everybody knows that I'm hosting. So then we want to go into the folder where we downloaded everything. And you're going to see this pro ad hoc server. Open that up. This is going to be the way that everybody connects to you and will show you incoming and outgoing connections. So now let's go back into PPSSPP, go into the settings then go into networking and then change this IP address to your own IP address listed up here in Hamachi. So we'll go ahead and put this IP address of myself in so it knows to connect to my own IP when I, whenever I join a game. Click OK and you're good to go. So now when I open FTB2 I will be the host, everybody else will connect to me and any created games will show in the game list and everybody will be able to play. Now this should work on every game, and any incoming, joining connections, leaving connections, everything will be displayed here in the ad hoc window, in the pro window. So this should work on more games than just FTV2, but NATO and I are specifically trying to get people that love this game to join this server and play online. If, uh, if you'd like, if, if the enough people show interest in this, then maybe we can get uh, a paid server with up to 260 people and get a ton of games going and really bring this game back to life. Uh, I loved it, NATO loved it, a lot of people loved it. And the best part is there's no cheats. So nobody's hacking, you can just go in and you can play legit against other people. So if you're interested, come join us. And now I think I'll show you guys a little uh, gameplay teaser video to show you just how good this looks when running on the computer. And this isn't very resource intensive, so it should work on laptops and everything.